Hi there, I'm Valerie, here is today's video and then I will be back with news on Beetlejuice 2. Welcome to Northgate. Let me introduce you to Dr. Andrew Melro. Dr. Dittmar Stemke. In the early 40s, Stemke was doing genetic work for the Nazis. At the end of the war, the Russians got him and he disappeared. 1962, a civilian plane crashed. The three survivors were highly trained, genetically modified Russian soldiers with a mission to launch a terrorist attack on New York City. The survivors broke free from their cells, disappeared into the tundra. I hope you find what you're looking for. You mean my genetic soldiers? That too. What I'm seeing? Condition of the corpse, remarkable. They're not human beings. They are soldiers. They're getting stronger. And they're gonna escape. Looking for three white men. They're very dangerous. They're genetic freaks. They will kill and destroy everything that gets in their way. I'm gonna help you kill those men. That was not a normal man. You're flawed, pathetic. Now you die. It's showtime, well, maybe, for Winona Ryder as she has strongly hinted that the rumored Beetlejuice 2 project might be going ahead and, more importantly, that she will be involved in it. Stating that she is sworn to secrecy, Ryder explained that she was originally cautious about returning for a sequel, but her interest was piqued when she heard that a script penned by Seth Graham Smith set a sequel 27 years after the first film. Rumors have been flowing recently that Tim Burton will return to direct the sequel, however there is no certainty there. But one thing's for certain, Winona Ryder is definitely interested in returning whether anything comes off bitter juice too or not. That's all for today. Subscribe to Film Is Now to keep updated on all the latest trailers and news from Hollywood. And see you next time.